Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is L Driver. And I'm, well, you know who I am. And that was ASAP Adonai on piano. Thank you very much, ASAP. <laughs> and happy Halloween, everyone, and happy Monday. Uh, we all hope that you had a great weekend. I know I definitely did. I think Donald did over here as well. Thank you. Thank you. Please, no, please stop. Thank <laughs> I you. No. Nope. Thank over the you. Weekend. It was Thank great. you. I'm glad to be here in. <laughs> Masala, Montana. <laughs> it's really great. I love the food. It's amazing. It's great. I cannot keep doing this, so I'm going to go directly into weather because I was told that I can do that and I can do anything. Here's the weather. <laughs> it is currently 46 degrees outside. Uh, you can expect your highs to be 51, 50% chance of rain, so if you're going to wear that... Um, I guess the urban poncho you might as well, you know, the rainy poncho that you wear during wet weather in like Seattle or whatever. Yes, Donald. Yes, yes. Those, tonight those exist. the lower uh, rain goes up to down to 20%, 30% on Tuesday. And of course the rest of the week is be perfectly fine because, hey, it's Halloween. Might as well rain, right? <laughs> so, Great uh, point. we also have some interesting news items, but yes. of course uh, I do want to uh, plug I guess the website where you can go to. And the website you guys can go to is wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. So now that we named it twice, and of course, they could not afford wakeupmissoula.com or .org. So anyways, here's our Facebook page. Here's our Twitter page, at wakeupmissoula. MCAT also has a Twitter page. You guys can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information or watch us live, you guys can check us on MCAT.org. But we've got some news stories going on, so this is what's happening. So um, the parking meters that have been replaced with those new annoying robotic boxes are now for sale. So they've got around 500 of them, and they range from $50 to $200, and this is put on through a fundraising enterprise launched recently by the Downtown Missoula Partnership. So you guys can go in there downtown and go buy your own parking meter. Um, and so they started selling the old meters about a week and a half ago, and they have hit just 3000 $1,600. So that's pretty good. Um, people are using them all for art installations and projects. Someone's making like a parking meter garden. Another woman um, is a terminally ill cancer patient and she's putting her ashes in there. Hmm. Yeah, but it's going to say time expired, so it's kind of like a dark, humorous twist. But pretty cool what everyone is doing with these things. So those are for sale, so you guys can go down there and get your own. If you had a meter, what would you do with it? I'd put it in a garden. You'd put it in a garden? Mm -hmm. I'd, put I'd put it outside my office so I can time the people who come in my office and waste my time and say, look, your time has expired. Get out. That's a great idea, Channel. You're really going to make America great again. Thank you. Yes. I'll be killing Time is money. Later. And that's exactly what it is. I love money and I love time. And then, unfortunately, there were a few deaths over the weekend. Uh, there was a man that was speeding. Um, so they think that alcohol and excessive speed are suspected. A guy was speeding along uh, Broadway near the near the airport, and he crossed all all. I think it was like in front of all lanes of traffic and swerved in front of a couple, and all three were, were pronounced dead at the scene. So, um, and, you know, unfortunately, Halloween weekend always kind of comes with lots of risks because people are out and having fun. And so, yeah, that is a bummer. Um, and then I also have got some World Series updates. So, you guys, the World Series is in full swing. We've got the Cleveland Indians against the Chicago Cubs. And so for the game one, uh, Cleveland won the first game. The Cubs won the second game. Then the Cleveland won the game three and four. And the Cubs just won the game five last night. Game six will be played tomorrow. And if the Cubs win, they'll be game seven. Um, on Wednesday and so the Chicago Cubs have to win two more games to win the series and the Indians only have to win one yeah. So you guys can stay tuned for that and I'll have more updates on that on Wednesday So that's what all of my news stories my first two news stories I found in the Missoulian and then my last one about the sports I just found online searching up Google and yeah, yeah it's pretty simple. It's all everybody's talking about two originally loser teams 
one is going to be a winner and one is going to continue their losership. Find out what's going to happen either tonight, the next couple of nights. Who knows? It depends upon whether the Cubs are going to win or not. Anyways, I have another game I'd like to play, and it's called... Did I say that? <laughs> and uh, basically, it's like Hallmark or Bullmark, but it's like with quotes. So anyways, <laughs> I want you guys to determine whether or not I said it or not. So here's the first quote. An extremely credible source has called my office and told me that Barack Obama's birth certificate is a fraud. <laughs> is that a real quote or is that not? That is a real quote. I think so. I'll say real. Yes. It's real. <laughs> Next up, Robert Patton should not take back Kristen Stewart. She cheated on him like a dog and would do it again. Just watch. He can do much better. Did I say that or not? <laughs> I'm going to say no. No, I'm going to say no too. Wrong. I did say that. <laughs> Next up, Ariana Huffington is unattractive, both inside and out. I fully understand why her former husband left her for a man. He made a good decision. Did I say that? Probably. You're a jerk. Yeah, I'm going to... I did say that. <laughs> All the women on The Apprentice flirted with me. <laughs> Is that true or not? <laughs> no, it's not true, not but true. you did say that. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> the beauty of me is that I'm rich. Did I say that? Yes. Yeah, I said that. It's freezing and snowing in New York. We need global warming. <laughs> did I say that? Yes. I say no. I say yes. <laughs> My fingers are long and beautiful. <laughs> As it has been well documented, are various other parts of my body. <laughs> Did I say that? Probably. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my IQ is one of the highest. And you know of it? Please, don't feel so stupid or insecure. It's not your fault. Did I say that? Yes. Yeah, you notice that the theme's going on here. I do not lie. <laughs> no, no, I'm not lying. I did say most of these quotes. Thank you. And here <laughs> is a video I want to show you guys of exactly how I think the election's going to turn out. Let's watch it right now. We did it. But at what cost? Absolutely horrifying. Yes. That's great. That's great. So, we got Tiny Pumpkins, we got music. ASAP, would you like to play a nice uh, music sure. for us? A oh. nice music, a nice spooky song. All right, I don't know about spooky, but I'll do it. Thank you, ASAP. You are a tribute to our show. Well, Fred Gwynn will be proud of that. Thanks, ASAP. And I like that show. It's called The Munsters. It's the greatest show <laughs> I've ever watched. You know, you got Frankenstein husband. You got uh, Frankenstein's wife. You have a uh, you have a werewolf son. You have an uncle vampire. It is wonderful. It's a great show. It's and a great of course. Show, Donald. <laughs> Another great show is all the shows that you can watch on MCAT at any time. MCAT.org. They have all these wonderful shows that are video on demand because television, let's forget about it. It's, it's not going to keep on going forever. So nice thing, online access to any of these shows anytime whatsoever, and you can watch them. But of course, here's a little tease of what you guys can watch tonight on MCAT. I have Tuesday mags. But it goes along a little too long, kind of like this sentence right now. So without further ado, here is your new programming for tonight 
and then we'll have Monday events with Noel. I'm going to take part in cleaning the river and the peace farm. I really like the idea of peace farm you have here. Yeah, and if we can have that in Malaysia too, and that would be really good. So yes. The government policy that try to balance the development project and the natural resort equally. So, like, uh, like, uh, and one thing that I want to see is the like the adaptive, uh, the adaptive innovation in the region, like try to help a uh, farmer or people who get affected by the climate change, like. I'm representing uh, John Lee So, who's over there with the apples. Hi there. And he made a fortune in the gold uh, mining uh, business, but he didn't come out here to mine gold. He um, was hired by John Owen of Ford Owen down here to um, bring some um, mining equipment uh, west from Iowa. And so that was way back in the 1860s. And so he uh, led a wagon train led by oxen, pulled by oxen all the way across the Overland Trail. When they got to Montana, they were attacked by the Sioux warriors who killed five of the men and they lost all their horses. But Hello. Sergeant Travis Wells with the Missoula Police Department here to remind you of some safety tips this Halloween. Plan your trick-or-treating route. Carry a flashlight or glow stick with you. When crossing the street, make sure drivers can see you, otherwise stay on the sidewalk. Dark colors may seem like a fun way to express yourself, but reflective tape and brighter colors will help drivers see you and make everyone more aware. Masks can obstruct a child's vision and breathing, so when possible, use face paint instead. Children under 12 years of age should be accompanied by an adult. And drivers need to remember that as soon as the sun goes down, the kids come out. So at the end of the day, be aware of trick-or-treaters and have a safe Halloween. I have a list of names here, and I'm just wondering, are you on them? Maybe, but these events are. All right, so up first, we've got stuff going on on Monday. But, of course, you know we have our national days. So today is October 31st. Happy Halloween, everyone. And our national day is National Caramel Apple Day, National Knock Knock Joke Day, National Magic Day, it's a Girl Scout Founders Day, and of course Halloween. All right, but now we've got some Monday events. Okay, so these are all the Halloween things happening, plus a few other things. Um, over at Mismo Gymnastics, they have Mismo's Little Monster Mash. It starts at 9.30. $7 per child um, if you're a member, 10 bucks if you're not a member. And everyone is welcome. They've got games, prizes, and spooky crafts. And then over at Trail West Bank, out in Lolo, in the Lolo Shopping Plaza, they've got a pint for pint Halloween blood drive. So if you give a pint of blood, they'll give you a free pint of beer over at the Lolo Peak Brewing Company. And then over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they're making a haunted gingerbread house workshop. That's gonna be from 11 to two, and it only costs $35 per child plus their one parent. At Montgomery Distillery is Moscow Monday. This starts at noon. A dollar from each cocktail sold will go to a different nonprofit area in the Missoula area. At the Missoula Senior Center is Bridge Group that starts at 1 o'clock. Also is Duplicate Bridge that also starts at 1 o'clock. That's located at the Duplicate Bridge, uh, Dupl Garden City Duplicate Bridge Club that's located on Stockyard Road. At the Missoula Public Library is Computer Electronics in the Makerspace. It starts at 3 o'clock. You can work on a product of your choice or go in there and learn how to use their equipment. And then we've got our Missoula Alliance Church Pumpkin Patch. So that's happening. It's still going on. Um, it's going on from 2 o'clock to 7 today, so you guys can check that out. Go pick up some pumpkins. And then um, at the JC's Penny Court, the Southgate Mall, they have Halloween for Hospice. So this is an event um, that is going to be, funds will be raised, will be supporting expansion of HCF granting programs, which are grants to individuals in its community education campaign. Um, and so they'll have carnival, ga carnival games, photo booth, and trick-or-treating, and that starts at 4.30 today.
Then over the Top Hat Lounge is Raising the Dead, the live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead uh, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And then the Roxy's got a couple movies. They are showing Tr uh, Troll 2 and then Night of the Living Dead. That starts at 5 o'clock. At the Missoula Public Library is an internet searching class. It starts at 6. If you guys want to sign up for that, you can call 721-2665. And then we have our Missoula Haunted House. This is at the Missoula County Fairgrounds. Today it starts at 7 o'clock. And then Dean Ween from the band Ween, um, they are going to be in Missoula. They're going to be playing at the Wilma Theater. So it's the Dean Ween group as well as the Meat Puppets. Um, and they play at 7 o'clock. And I don't think they're sold out. I do believe there's still tickets. And we've got our jazz dance class for adults in the Downtown Dance Collective at 7.30. And then over in, the, over in Lolo, they've got their Lolo Square and Round Dance Center. They have a spooky Halloween dance. It starts at 8 o'clock. They're said that their theme is Disney, but I'm sure you can dress up in however you want to. Um, and couples of singles are welcome, and, you know, they say casual dress. But Halloween, it's Halloween, you have to dress up. All right. And then at the VFW is a Cardinal Kin EP release Halloween party. Tormy, Tiny Plastic Stars, and Charcoal Squids will also be playing. And then over at the Badlander, they're going to have a Decades Dance Party with Chris Moon and Dead Hipster, and that starts at 9 o'clock. So that's what's going on in your community for your Halloween Spooky Monday. Get out of here, Donald. Donald. Let me say something. Let me say something. Get out of here, Donald. Get it. No, 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 no. no. Up, take it away. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the rest of the show, and here's some more. New programming, happy nine, uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> Apprenticing in a formal sense at an early age, but certainly they're learning a lot about uh, what it means to be a member of the, the workforce in their society. I uh, had this ability to, to, to approach sponsors and say, hey, this is what I want to do. I kind of knew that I could make it happen. And so I came up with the idea of my ultimate adventure, which was to kind of sustainably circumnavigate the world in a sailboat using the power of the wind, living off the ocean, bringing all of this equipment and gear along for a multitude of adventure sports, and just circumnavigating the, circumnavigating the planet. Welcome oh. back. Now. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Now we've got musical notes with Asaph Adonai. Well, before I start, <clears throat> I'm very happy to be feeling much better today. I can finally talk again. And Good. What do you think you got? Just a little cold? I think so. It just came suddenly. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I just got in front of the um, oven mm -hmm. for like 24 hours. I put a sweater on. I just heated up the place and sweated out, and it worked. Good. That's awesome. Well, you have to turn the oven down really low so you don't burn your coil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, before I start, it was 499 years ago today that Martin Luther put the uh, theses on the wall of the church and started the Refor Reformation. Wow. Yeah. Today, huh? Yes. 499 years ago today. Wow. It's supposed to get the church closer to God, but you know, it, you can look up Martin Luther and find out more about him. Mm hmm. Now, anyway, this will be probably relatively short, this story here. Our guest on today's musical notes comes in two parts. Our first guest is not a person, but an operetta and three acts by Franz von Suppe. And this composition was first performed in Vienna in 1866. Here's a piece of it. Light Cavalry that was first performed, as I mentioned, in um, 1866. But there has to be a conductor who conducts that. And I've done stories on conductors before, like Leopold about a year ago, the conductor that was known for not using the baton. So I singled out another conductor on musical notes today. And he is known to the world, or was known to the world, as Herbert von Karajan. And there he is on the screen. He was born 1908, so they recently celebrated his 100th year birthday. And uh, he, like a lot of these conductors from the past, like Leonard Bernstein, whoever your favorite was, this man was considered one of the best too because, as I stated, born 1908, he was an Austrian conductor. 
and he was a principal conductor for the Berlin Philharmonic for 35 years. Can you believe that? And he's also considered one of the greatest conductors of the 20th century and was dominant figure in European classical music from the mid-50s until his passing in 1989. And uh, by some estimates, he's um, top-selling classical recording artist of all time, having sold an estimated 200 million records throughout his career. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that classical music is kind of a acquired taste for some people, but uh, I guess everybody has their favorite conductor, their favorite classical music. And uh, I do like this particular composer here. He, uh, let's see what else can I say about him real quick. Um, he studied at the Vienna Academy. He took piano lessons under Joseph Hoffman. And I've heard Hoffman play. He was quite the pianist. And um, let's see, you can just, your audience can look up Herbert von Karajan and the Berlin Philharmonic, and they can hear other notable works like that Light Calvary and so on. So there's not much to say about this man except for he spent his entire life, like most conductors, um, leaving classical music behind. And he is one of the greatest conductors, probably second to Leonard Bernstein and, of course, um, Leopold. And I'll stop on that note. Nice. Thanks, Asaph. That's Thank really you. cool. Well, do you have like a favorite song that he's done? I've heard his uh, orchestra do the um, Pier Gint Suite. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they have those songs like the Morning Song, the yeah, Anitra's Dance, the um, Asa's Funeral, and In the Hall of the Mountain King that goes like this. Oh, yeah. And you can just... Um, Hear the whole thing that's there. That's cool. So nice. that's called In the Hall of the Mountain King. Nice. Thank you very much. Sure. Okay. Well, that was Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai. And it looks like we've got an art clip. This is uh, the Day of the Dead art show that's over at the Zootown Arts Community Center that I believe is in, through November 7th? November yes. 8th? Yes. It'll be November 7th. The parade is on Wednesday, and I'm really glad you studied in English. Here is art from the Zach. <laughs> Hello, you guys. We are back, and now I've got some events for your Tuesday. And so, on Tuesday, Tuesday will be November 1st, and so there are a lot of exercise activities and lots of exercise classes. So I've got a bunch of that. So up first at 7 a.m. over at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, not at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, over at uh, Alpine Physical Therapy at 2965 Stockyard Road. They've got strength and conditioning with Coraline that starts at 7 a.m. It'll be from 7 to 8 from, two, from November um, 1st to December 20th and for $104. 
Then we have a Tuesday morning meditation class in the northeast corner of McLeod and Higgins from 8 to 8.50 every Tuesday morning. We have cycle and core fusion. This will be at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center starting at 9 a.m. from the 1st of November till December 20th, um, 9 to 10.15 a.m. and it's $41. Over at the Missoula Family YMCA is a family Y family fun time starting at 9. They've got lots of activities for the little ones as well as comfy chairs and, and things for, to do for the parents. So parents can either chill out or they can join them. We have face painting at the Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11. And then over in the Alps boardroom is shooting the Bull Toastmasters. It starts at noon. At the Alps boardroom is located in the Florence building. And so this is a Toastmasters club where you can help you improve your public speaking, grow your vocabulary, and increase your leadership and confidence. There's a mindfulness meditation group at the Learning Center at Red Willow. It starts at noon. It's $40 for four weeks or $12 to drop in as an ongoing class. And then over at the Missoula Public Library, okay, not at the Missoula Public Library, over at the Big Sky High School Library, they have got Tuesday movies. It starts at 345. And then over at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center is ULA. That starts at 430. That'll be from the November 1st to December 20th, and it'll be from 430 to 530 and only for $30. There is a cardio and strength Tabata class that's going to be at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center at 4.30. It'll be for $30 from the 1st of November to the 20th of December. Pilates will be at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center. It starts at 4.30, goes till 5.30, only 30 bucks from the 1st of November to the 20th of December. Over at Draftworks Brewing Company, they've got cheers for charity. For uh, They're benefiting the National Wildlife Federation, so 50 cents from each beer sold will go back to them. It starts at 5 o'clock. ULA is going to be at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center. It starts at 5.30 from the 1st of November to the 20th of December. It's going to be from 5.35 to 6.35, and it's only $30. And now at 5.30, there is going to be at the core studio at Alpine Physical Therapy, located at 2965 Stockyard Road. They've got a class just for backs, just for, to develop a strong and healthy back to prevent future injuries or if you've already had an injury to help with that. So that'll be from the 1st of November till the 20th of December. It'll be $104 from 535 to 635. At the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, there'll be an over 50 and fit class starting at 545 from the 1st of November to the 20th of December. 30 bucks, 540 to 640. And then we have gentle yoga. That'll be at 545 from the 1st of November to the 20th of December. Um, and it's only 30 bucks. And then strength and core conditioning. This will be also at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, 545, from the 1st of November until the 20th of December, $30. We have slow flow yoga, also six at 6 o'clock. Um, it'll be $36 from the, same pre, from the same date range, 1st of November to the 20th of December. And then over at the Missoula Public Library, there's a creative uh, writing workshop in their makerspace. It starts at 6 o'clock, goes until 7.30. And then at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, which will be, this will be held at Sentinel High School, they've got your basic combination welding that starts at 6.30. It'll be from the 1st of December till the 12th, or the 6th of November. 1st of November till the 6th of December. Uh, $224, it'll be 6.30, 9.30. And then we have System Check at the Missoula Public Library starting at 6.30. This is the official gamers club for those ages 19 and under. And then Bar Fitness will be at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center. That'll be from 5.45 to, okay, so it'll be 6.45 to 7.45, 30 bucks the 1st of November to the 20th of December. And then we have PIO Strength. That'll be also at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center starting at 6.45 um, from the 1st of November to the 20th of December. It'll be 30 bucks. And then Bar Fitness as well, at 7 o'clock at the Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, $30. And then we have an open kayak session. This will be, I do believe that it's going to be over at Currents. This is put on by, by Missoula Parks and Rec. Um, it starts at 8 o'clock. And so uh, the program will provide pool access to those individuals that want to keep their paddling skills sharp throughout uh, the off season. So it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, November 1st to December 22nd, 8 to $10. Uh, regular admission is what it costs. And there'll be no kayaking November 14th. Ages and 15 and up are allowed, but younger than 15, you have to have an adult. And you have to bring your own cleaned kayak, paddle, skirt, and life jacket. And then my last event for Tuesday is that we've got square dancing at the Top Hat Lounge that starts at 8 o'clock. 
So that's what's going on in your community. As always, you guys, you guys can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, The Missoulian, and The Independent. I also got a few events off of Destination Missoula. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. No, please stop. Thank you. But, of course, we have another video for you guys, and then right after that we have Wake Up Sports with some um, with some guys who come in, in Kempson and Cole. So without further ado, here's a nice little video to transition into that. So uh, stay with us. I don't want to carry anything. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up bass, like p bags of food. So the Missoula, the food bank Missoula, um, can have food for the people that are in need. Trick or treat script. Okay. Hi, we're students from the Washington Middle School flagship program. We're trick or treating. We're trick or treating to collect non perishable food items for the Missoula Food Bank. To help families in need, would you like, were you willing to donate anything? And that says thank you. Cool. So did you guys uh, get a lot of houses? Yeah, we got a lot of eggs. And there's a few houses that didn't donate. To there was only one excuse, because there was only one person. So they said, first, this is not my house. Second, there's a kid that goes to Washington Middle School, that goes here, so that might, they might take care of it. Um, what's that thing called? No soliciting. No soliciting, yeah. No soliciting. Okay. And then, like, if we did go to the house, it was, we didn't push shopping. Yeah. What do you got to say to uh, future uh, Washington Middle Schoolers about this event? Uh, be prepared to have your feet hurt. Um, Make sure you have a friend with you, because we're it, it's not, it's not very fun. And make sure you don't call people perish, per, perishable food. <laughs> okay, student. so, um, she accidentally called us perishable students. Um, yeah, don't do that. They'll get all confused. <laughs> Welcome you to Wake Up Sports on Missoula Community Access Television. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Cole Johnson. And I'm Kevin Cross. The Missoula Sentinel Spartans. Great game last Friday night. They won 17 to 10 in overtime. Uh, Mitch Roberts had a touchdown run in overtime and Brandon Morley two interceptions in that contest as the Spartans survive in OT. Uh, it was a defensive battle. The Spartans end the season six and four. They're in the playoffs. They're the number seven seed, but it was a dogfight in the second half. Uh, defensive battle all the way through. Kempson, what did you see in this game and how did uh, you see Sentinel well, you're absolutely right. It was a defensive struggle all night long, and that was part of, part of the reason for that was the offenses struggled with penalties all night long, and so that that helps as far as on a defense. But the defense has to take advantage of the opportunities when they're there, and they did all night long. They were able to get good uh, penetration and get several sacks on each side, and it, I think it was good for for Sentinel to have to, even though they already clinched the playoff spot, they were coming off the bye, they got to shake a little bit of the rust off, they had to grind out a victory over a Flathead team that, even though they're not making the playoffs this year, came to play. And for for uh, with the with the intensity of this game, at times it felt like a playoff game. And so I think those are good mental reps for the Spartans going into the postseason. Yeah, they did. They they fought hard all the way to the end, and they were able to pull it out when they uh, when they desperately need that win. Looking at the uh, out of town scoreboard, Billing Senior undefeated, ten and 0, 14 and 0, or fourteen to nothing win over Missoula Hellgate on the forfeit. There, Calspell Glacier took care of business against Missoula Big Sky, winning forty seven to seven. Very impressive there. Billings West went into Helena High, lost that game, thirty five to twenty eight. Give Helena High credit, um, a very big win there. Bozeman wins 38-16 at Skyview. Um, Helena Capital, 35-28 winners um, over Billings West there, or excuse me, um, at Butte. 
and Sentinel winning 17 to 10 over Flathead and Great Falls um, beating their crosstown rival CMR 34 to 6. Very impressive um, win there. CMR actually beat Glacier for Glacier's only loss of the year and CMR's not even in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. Let's go through the playoffs right now. Sentinel number seven seed like we mentioned playing the number two seed Glacier High Wolfpack. Glacier beat them 63 to 62 at Washington Grizzly Stadium last month. Um, what do you see in that game? How do you feel like Sentinel's best chances of winning are in that? Well, I think we've been saying it since last year. Sentinel remains explosive but inconsistent, and that kind of goes for on both side of the, sides of the ball. On on Friday night, it was a good it was a good job by the defense, who uh, is arguably better than last year, even though last year they were pretty good, especially with coming up with stops at clutch times. But uh, this offense, as well, has been able to develop and grow over the course of, of the regular season. And um, they need to make it, – it, it's hard to make all the plays that are there. They need to make it, at the very least, most of them on mm -hmm. Friday night at Kalispell Glacier. It, it was a crazy all-time great game last time at Washington Grizzly Stadium, a, 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 a instant classic of a shootout. And but the thing is, Glacier is an offense that can score with anybody in the state. Uh, the defense sometimes give the, gives the offense a little bit too much of an opportunity to prove that. Um, and I think that's the best case scenario for for Sentinel to not dig themselves into a hole like they did with a couple turnovers last time. And they struggled with turnovers against Flathead as well. So that's a little bit of a concern. But if they can get into a shootout and their both offenses are firing on all cylinders on Friday night. This is going to be a fun game to watch. And Glacier, arguably the top challenger of Billing Senior, it would be a big upset if Sentinel was able to pull it off and it would be a great milestone for this program. It sure would. Yeah, I mean, it would definitely be a huge upset. Um, number eight seed, uh, Missoula Big Sky going up against the number one seed undefeated, uh, Billing Senior. Yeah, two Missoula teams in the playoffs. I still got the M. So, still representing Missoula here. Um, yeah, big, big physical team um, in the Missoula Big Sky Eagles. They do get a little one-dimensional with the run game. Uh, quarterback Levi Janicaro leads that attack. He's he's a, a kind of athlete that could be an all-state running back, but uh, he's at the quarterback position. And when they're able to get that ground game rolling, then it can be a, they can grind out victories. They've almost pulled a couple upsets this season. But 62 to 20 was how it looked. Is, is kind of how it looks. Uh, that was their last meeting against Billing Senior earlier this year, and I think that's kind of how it, it might look if they aren't able to get that run game going when they have to rely more on the pass game. Um, so we'll see. Billing Senior is the clear-cut favorite. Nobody's been able to hang with them for I, I want to say 60 minutes, but it's not 60 minutes in high school football um, for an entire game. The Bronx, Nate Dick, Gabe Solster, you can go on down the line with with their weapons. I expect the the this Billing Senior Bronx to get uh, the postseason the postseason part of their run back to the state championship started on Friday night. Yeah, they're gonna be playing at home the entire way. Um, I see them making a deep run into the playoffs for sure. Number five seed, Helena High going against the number four seed, Bozeman High Hawks. Arguably the most intriguing matchup because neither of these teams have played each other in the regular season. The other three matchups have happened already. Um, yeah, an upset win over West for Helena was big. That's their signature win of the, of the whole year because the other playoff teams that they had played so far, uh, they had lost to, or their three losses came against playoff teams. I guess I should rephrase that a little bit. Glacier, Sentinel, and Capital. Um, <clears throat> Ryan Arnston and the Helena run game, I think, is important for the Bengals. Um, he had 48 carries in their upset win over West, so that, that gives you a little bit of a taste of how, how important he is. But, uh, yeah, Helena has – they don't you don't get a 7-3 and three by accident. And uh, so they've been able to, to, to win against a schedule that um, – that was a little easier than some others, uh, but give them credit. They've been able to get those wins. Defending state champion, though, Bozeman. Have we forgotten that the Hawks are the defending yeah. state champion? Yeah, they, won they, they won it by eight points over Billing Senior. Yes, they're eight and two, but they lost to Billing Senior and Glacier, arguably the top two teams in the state. So the Hawks are going to be on the warpath. Callahan O'Reilly, Lance McCutcheon. Um, Callahan O'Reilly is the new quarterback for, for Bozeman. Lance McCutcheon is another good playmaker for them. They lost their head coach, but it's, it's sort of a transition year, and they're still 8-2. and two. So that tells you a little something about the Bozeman Hawks program. I, I expect Bozeman to, uh, to advance out of this game. 
um, but Helena will will put up a fight for sure. Yeah, Bozeman High, it's defending state champions, you know, that means a lot when you've played in games like those for sure. Uh, last playoff matchup, that's on Saturday, Capital High taking on Billings West. Capital, arguably the hottest team in the state of Montana, or at least in AA football, with a five-game win streak after they started the year one and four with that win coming on a Missoula Hellgate forfeit. That was it. The, uh, but those four losses were to some of the top teams in the state. Um, it, well, at least most of them were. And then their defense, uh, I mean, the the crosstown rivalry with Helena was a 3 nothing ball game. So that gives you a little taste of what their defense means, means to the Bruins team. Billings West, though, their only other loss besides the upset loss at Helena is to Billings Senior. And so Billings West is still a good football team. And I think it's a little bit of a gut check, maybe um, a wake up call if they did need that at Helena with the upset loss. And so now they're able to to come back with with a little maybe a little more fire. Um, the Deming twins, Bryce and Braden, and the rest of the Billings West playmakers, the Golden Bears, I think will will be able to to get a win on Saturday afternoon. But we'll see. Capital will keep it close with that defense. I expect that to be a hard fought football game. Should be an interesting playoff weekend for high school football, and we will definitely be recapping all of those games next Monday on our Wake Up Sports segment on MCAT. So we will see you next Monday. Have a great Halloween and a great rest of your week. Hi, I'm Kate. What are you doing Tuesday, November 1st? Do you know that you can vote early in the state of Montana? That's right. Come to the University Center Atrium between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Tuesday, November 1st to update your personal information, receive a ballot, and even cast your vote. This event is open to all eligible voters in Missoula County, not just students. If you're an absentee voter, you can also return your ballot to the elections office at the event that day. Have you changed your last name, moved, or had any other changes to your personal information? If so, you'll need to update this information with the elections office in order to be eligible to vote in the 2016 general election. This event will help you skip the long wait times we anticipate on Tuesday, November 8th. Also be sure to log on to my voter page at myvoterpagemt.com to check your voter registration status. If it says you're an inactive voter or have outdated information, stop by and update that information during the event. Make sure you're election ready and come hang out with us on November 1st. back to the show we're back okay so i've got a video for you guys so you know saturdays every saturday we do our drop in stop motion animation class workshop we're glo basically a glorified babysitting service but yes. it's fun and so one of uh, my favorite little dudes and i made a little movie over we not last weekend but the weekend before that we finally finished editing so this is a scary movie that we made in honor of halloween um yeah so here you guys go Yeah. 
I slept in my clothes. I see that. Well, get up. Get up, take a shower, and let's go to breakfast. Okay. Hello. You can sit down right here. Thank you very much. Like Dolly. Let's put your dolly down today. Let's just keep them off the table. Did you have bad dreams? Maybe? Maybe. Let's just see here. We'll sit on just right over there. So what would you like to eat? Um, I'll take some spaghetti, please. What is breakfast? Oh, um, eggs. Uh, can I have the junior waffle meal? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. So what was your dream about? Well, it was about the dollar. <laughs> So, it had all the emotions. And so fear, I, I had the kids. Sadness, okay, okay, Donald, stop. So I had the kids. Comedy. Come on. I had the kids film it. I made them all film it and edit it. So that's why the filming wasn't exactly still. But they came up with the storyline. They filmed everything and they edited it together. And they're like ten. So you know there's some holes. But regardless, it was really fun. And I'm really proud of them. And they do a great job. And so those that, like other movies, is what you can expect to uh, play with us on Saturdays. Yes. What to do? Yes. That's Every Saturday, MCAT does a stop mm -hmm. animation drop in with uh, basically it's a creative expression for your children to come in for only ten dollars for four hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we make lots of movies and hang out, and most of the time we like to just stick with the stop motion. But if we have fewer kids, we'll do live action. But we had about ten kids over the weekend, so we just stopped with the stuck with the stop motion. Now we're gonna go yeah. backwards on social media. Because we need to go back to where it all began. And that is MCAT.org, where you can find out more information and your local government. There is no meeting tonight because it is the fifth Monday of the month. Or it's because they're lazy. I forget. Um, you could, There's the Stop Animation. You just click on this tab and it tells you more information about Stop Animation. Uh, you could like us on our uh, MCAT Facebook page, Missoula Community Access Television. Otherwise, MCAT is just for doctors. <laughs> you can um, follow us on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. Wake Up Missoula also has a Twitter. You guys can follow us at Wake Up Missoula. You can like us on our Facebook page and to find out more information about us or to watch our whole episodes, you can walk to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. Yeah, and it's such a great website, too. It's like the greatest website in the universe, in the planet, Mr. Uh, website. If there was a contest called Mr. Website, it'd be the best website ever i agree i agree donald yes anyways um we have a uh, interesting thing because uh google they put up a game on their home page and it's just the best donald. i just love it so much i spent most of my weekend just 
playing around, just He's playing with amused. it. It's easily a cat, amused. and it uses magic. It just whatever. Let let let's just show and you. And you guys. believe this magic is real, Donald? And what do you believe in this? So about this here magic? is you just push the play button, and it shows you this preemptive video, and it, it it's just it's just the greatest thing ever. Hey, how's it going? We're right over here. We're gonna be playing this game right for you live on our show. <laughs> and Donald here is, easy. is a cute little kitty cat. Oh look, he has a little wand. And the whole premise of this game is to use your mouth to draw. Look, see? Defeat a ghost by drawing its symbol anywhere. Whoosh! Take that ghost. Oh no. Downline? Here you go, ghost. <laughs> oh Level yeah. one. Wow, good job, Scott. I mean Donald. <laughs> Slash, slash, shabam, bam, yeah, take that ghost. What's that? What are you gonna do? Boom. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna, now look behind you. Just like that, I am the greatest at this game. It is the best thing ever. No, stop, no ghost. And since I've been an assassin for most of my life, he's mediocre. I can do much better. Like with anything, it takes practice. I mean, I can't. I will. No, I will admit, I'm not the greatest at first, but I became the greatest from hard work and dedication. And through this game as well, it is the greatest game ever. Oh look, there's the boss. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Oh, he's back again. You better take this. I'm going to destroy you, ghosty. There it is. Oh, another one. Good job, Donald. Everyone, this is how Donald plans on helping our country making it great again. With yes. cats and magic. See, there's many levels you guys can play. How about you take a, a drive for it? No, thank you. No, thank oh, you. look, there we are. We're double, double time. Well, everyone, thank you for playing that game with us. I'm actually going to go home and play it. <laughs> yeah, it's the greatest game ever. You can play a cute little kitty cat. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's wonderful. Magic, all sorts of stuff. All this wonderful Halloween special of Wake Up Missoula. Um, Scott will be here on Wednesday to tell you more about government. Except there is no government, so he won't have anything to say. Scott won't have anything to say Wednesday. He might have programming, but who knows? He's not going to have anything to say. But say goodbye to Donald Trump. This will be the last time that you guys all see him as after the show. He's on my list. Mm. So for Wake Up Missoula, my name is L Driver. Hey, Wake Up Missoula, you better know who I am. And here is ASAP Adonai. We'll see you guys all on Wednesday. Mm.